Currently starring in the movie Grindhouse, uh, which Entertainment Weekly says puts the bad back in badass. All right, please welcome Rose McGowan. Ooh. Well, very impressive uh, cover of Rolling Stone magazine. Here. Look at that. Wow. Now, this picture has a bit of a backstory, doesn't it? What's the story here? Are you making a pun? Yes, it has a, it has uh, oh, a backstory. Yeah. Yes, it's fact, quite a backstory. It's yeah. quite a backstory. Well, oh, yeah. dear. Um, yeah, they wanted me to be there with just my hand here and a, um, a very tall, I suppose, machine gun through my, you know, in front of me with nothing else. Uh, now, how does this work? When you do, do you know I don't this know, ahead of time? Since I, mean, I didn't do it, I don't no, know. No, but I mean, do you know ahead of time they're going to ask you? Did you get there and they go, oh, by the way, we want you naked? Pretty much. Wow. Yeah, and then they try to say, like, but other people told us you would, and they're, you know they're trying to pull a fast one on you, yeah. right? Because you know if it was, you know, say, Bob Dylan showing up to do the cover of Rolling Stone, they're not going to say, Bob, cover your breasts and right. put a machine gun leg right here. I'm just going out there on a limb. But it turned out fantastic. Well, it did turn out. And, and, and in fairness, I don't think anybody wants to see Bob Dylan naked. So, I, you know, so I, mean, I think... It could be you know, that you, one you have, you have to be young. I mean, those of us, but... So they get you to put a... Is that like a bikini machine? A machine? No, those were actual, you know, kind of vintage bullets, if you will. And right. from holding it up, I had about 100 little tiny bullet holes in my arm until mm. I was smart enough at the end of the day to flip it around. But I'm a little slow. Oh, well. But it looks good. And that's what counts. Yeah, it, 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 it looks great. It looks great. Because you say in the article <laughs> that you, uh, you have the luck of a two leaf clover. Are you an unlucky I person? I, I really actually am. Really? I really am. But I did not know that. I mean, I knew things were strange. But mm -hmm. um, Robert Rodriguez, who directed uh, Planet Terror, the right. side of Grindhouse, um, one of the sides that I'm in. He has an amazing luck, like he'll buy a piece of land and all of a sudden the government wants to put, you know, a railroad through it so he gets millions of dollars. Right, okay. I buy two inches and it, you know, drops out by 75%. Or I'm always hurting myself. That's really... Hurting yourself. Always hurting myself. So it's kind of bad luck in the sense that I'm on the plane and the person opens the overhead compartment and every single thing in her bag drops out and hits me in the head. <laughs> but every constant. And I'm not even you know, upset about these things. In fact, I was actually trying to think of one the other night because your producer was saying, you know, she'd read the same thing. And right, right. She's like, have you hurt yourself since, you know, your car accident right after New Year's? And then I know right before the Oscars, I thought I heard the doorbell ring. I had to get this doorbell thing. And, um, and it was a dress that I had to wear. Yeah. And I was outside cutting somebody's hair in my backyard, jabbed a huge chunk out of my finger. So I got blood spurting, but I think I hear the doorbell. So I'm racing smash into the door that's open, parting my two little toes like the sea. Oh. Fall on the floor, blood spurting everywhere. Finally, I limp to the door and nobody's there, which is typical. That's very, <laughs> that is very two leaf. But then I was thinking I was baking yeah. two nights ago and I have the crazy oven that you turn it on and I think it fills up with gas and then every single time I forget that, um, then the, mat, the flame comes on and it explodes really loud and slams itself open. But I was right under it and I was wearing flip flops and the whole thing you know, shot flames underneath and burned the top of my foot. Yeah, you know, so I, that's a common. I would get a new oven. That doesn't sound. It, 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 it is. It is shocking. It, yeah. it scares me every single time. But now I know not to wear flip flops and stand under it. Your life is sort of unusual. You were born in Italy, right? Under unusual circumstances. Tell me about that. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's unusual, but I was born um, in a barn by an 89-year-old midwife who was blind. Okay, that's unusual. <laughs> okay, let's, yeah. I would say that's unusual, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have a birth certificate until I was 10, actually. And, then, and I, it didn't occur to me until a couple years ago to think, there's no record. My mom doesn't remember if I was born in the day or the night. Mm -hmm. So my birthday could be a completely arbitrary one. Wow. And your wife and I share, I guess, the same, the same birthday, birthday. My right. alleged birthday uh, right. that I got to assume is my birthday. Right, okay. It was told to me by not so anybody you... else. There's no record. But I never, ever have to shut a door because I was, in fact, born in a barn. I can always say yes You were to born that. In barn. I was, in fact, born in a damn barn. I don't have to shut it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, so, you know, yeah, the horoscope thing is weird. Cause okay. And what do you do on your horoscope? You open the paper. How do you know which horoscope to read? I actually read all 12 every day, and yeah. I find the one that sounds the best, and then I think, that must be me. I must be a Libra today. <laughs> yes. Do you find those work? They always have the, you will meet a friend today. Bob, whoa! I mean, kind you know of, what I'm saying? Yeah, they're just, kind of. Yeah. Well, there was one a guy that was writing for the LA Times for a long time, uh -huh. and I and I thought, well, these this guy is the best. And then it turned out they were syndicated, and he'd been dead for seven years. <laughs> I've, well, I've actually lost some faith. 
the horoscopes from that. I am, I am bitter and jaded now. Yeah, okay. Now, I want to ask you about Grindhouse's character. When this script is brought to you, uh, I mean, do you, did you suddenly go out? Because you're too young to remember these movies. Did you, did you go out and look at a bunch of these old type of films, these 70s type of, of uh, you know, exploitation films to get a feel for it? Well, I'm, I'm a huge old movie buff, but I okay. kind of stopped around 1962. Okay. After Doris Day, I kind of like petered out from After that. the L-shaped room. I like the pretty room. cute things, yeah. okay. exactly. Anything with lots of gauze on the, you know, on the yeah. mirror. So uh, that's how I like to be shot. So if there's a lot of Vaseline on this lens, <laughs> that's what we like. See, I always like those old movies when they're going to have sex. You see autumn leaves fall. Oh. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> or like, autumn, like, yeah, yeah, or and then autumn leaves. Know, or I like it when people go to bed and they have the two beds. Yeah. Like, what yeah. do you do? Hold hands across the sink? I've always been fascinated by how Lucy <laughs> yeah. and Ricky actually had little Ricky. But yeah. That's, that's, that's an ass sign. So I get the script, and um, actually Quentin Tarantino, because I was in his side of the movie right. as well, he held screenings for us at his house, and okay. they were they were a pretty genius in their awfulness. I'll right. put it that way. But this movie is, you know, it's really, it's, um, there's a website called RottenTomatoes.com, and what they do is they collate all the best reviews, or just the reviews, period, on any given movie. And there's a lot of movies out last weekend, say, that had like nine or ten. And we were in the 90s, and there's oh, cool. no movie. Movies that are great are in the 70s, usually. Cool. I mean, we've got amazing reviews from New York Times. Oh, we yeah, it's a lot of fun. I saw the picture of both of them. It's terrific. It's I mean, terrific. No, it is so fun and so crazy and madcap. And I know Rodriguez called it a um, screwball comedy with some gore. Yeah. And that's, that's how I look Well, tell us it. about your character with the prosthetic leg with the machine gun. That... She's a loser. Yeah. God yeah, love sorry. her. She's a loser, but she could kill you if you said that. Uh, no, she's actually a go-go dancer at the beginning. She's got both legs, so she's doing a little fancy dance. And then throughout the course of the night, she loses her leg. And then Freddy Rodriguez, who plays my boyfriend, has kind of a gun fetish. And my first leg is a table leg. And then it gets broken. And then Freddy comes to me and says, you know, you need to become what you're really meant to be. Yeah. And it's a true story, by the way. A it lot is. of people don't realize this is... <laughs> based on the actual woman. Now, did you do your own stunts? Was it hard walking with that? I mean, I like the way you walked in the movie. It made me laugh. I did do a lot of my own... Can I stand up? Sure, Can I test with something? Yes. Yeah, I did do a lot of my own stunts. This side was um, on a four-inch boot, and then this side would, is in a hard, hard uh, cast. It was quite heavy. Yeah. And I was on a ball bearing, because, you know, a rifle would have a tiny little opening. That's what you're standing on. And so it was like... <laughs> like just hopping along as fast as everybody else. Basically like that, in a mini skirt and a little top where I was like, okay, suck my stomach in, check. Limp, check. Keep his leg straight, check. And um, yeah. It's, well, let's show uh, people a clip. What is this scene we're going to see here? This is where, uh, you know what this is? I can't tell anything. I know. That. What? Oh, I think I'm sad because I just lost my table leg. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Very delightful. Be right back with Good Charlotte right after this.